desk toy I've made with the intention of just leaving it on my desk indefinitely uh, and not having to change the batteries in it. Let's take a little tour. This is the glass dome just to stop things from knocking it. Make it a little more robust. Uh, this wire at the back is an antenna designed to uh, pick up Wi-Fi signal. Then just here, that bit, we've got a little diode. Uh, it's the lowest voltage drop one available. I had to get it imported from Germany. Then that comes across here to a 2.7 volt 10 farad supercapacitor. And there's an LED going across this with a 2.7 volt forward voltage, which means that if this gets to 2.7 volts or higher, it, the LED will discharge it to stop it from overcharging the capacitor. Believe it or not, I've actually had that issue. That's why the LEDs on there. Then coming off there, we've got a little reed switch here. It's triggered by these magnets on the rotor and that switches the supercapacitor to energize these coils. There are six coils made of super fine wire wound onto bobbins from a sewing machine. They're wound north-south, north-south alternating polarity so that uh, it simultaneously gets pushed from the previous one and attracted towards the next one. It's only 50% duty, so it turns on every other step it could do. So there's three magnets on the rotor and six coils on the stator. At the bottom there, we have a little brass pinpoint bearing, which it's refusing to there you go, you can just about see it uh, in that piece of plastic. Then there's a steel shaft up there that I've polished to a point. And right at the top, you can see a watch glass that I have glued into that piece of plastic at the top there. And then on the other side of that, there are a stack of magnets. These are half millimeter thick and I've added just enough so that the rotor is just attracted up towards the watch glass rather than to the bottom to minimize the reaction on the tip and thus the friction forces. Uh, we've got these tubes that hold the whole thing up, a glass filled with a glow in the dark material so that I can see it spinning at night and in the middle there on that rotor you can see I've used uh, sticky back plastic to improve with aerodynamics ostensibly, um, but also it allows me to use the adhesive in the center segments to stick uh, glow in the dark material to and allow the rotor to glow in the dark as well. And there is nothing in the base. And you can't see any wires going up from the base to the top or anything. All the wires are like between these coils. And then you can see there's there's one of the one of the wires from a coil that goes up to one of the legs of the capacitor there. And then the other one here goes from there. If it would focus. Yeah, from there all the way up over to this side, which then goes to the Read switch here. 
then goes up to the capacitor for it to get powered. That's it. I built it about a year ago now, just under a year ago, and I started it up in summer, and it's been going since then. I started it with the capacitor completely discharged and it's charged itself up now. Oh yeah, and here's a little demonstration for you. If I just blow on the rotor. Get it spin backwards and then it'll stop and start itself forwards again. There you go. Self-starting. It's been going now for, I don't know, at least six months, almost a year. Good stuff.